All right, in this Adobe XD quick tip lesson, we're going to be learning how to create hover states or component states within Adobe XD. So I'm gonna just jump in here to XD and I've just got a blank little canvas set up for this little sample. Now, whenever you're designing a button system that works in with components, we need to create a master component. So first off, I'm just gonna simply create a little shape here. So I'll create a shape and let's just go ahead and give this guy a fill. I'll just fill it maybe with some purple here and I'll set my border to black and maybe just set the border to five. And I'm just gonna give it a radius here of something like, I don't know, 500 just to kind of round off those corners. So now I've got my button shape. I'm gonna grab my type tool. So T for text and I'll just type out a button here. And I'll just place this text inside of this button. Now, one of the issues here is that you run into the problem where you need to resize the text and resize the button and resize the text and resize the button. So XD actually has a feature that will automatically resize buttons based on their text length. I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial, but I do have a different lesson that's called auto resizing buttons for XD. So what I'm going to do here is just manually scale this guy down a little bit and place it somewhere in the center right there looks fine. And I'm going to zoom in a click or two here so we can see this easier. So here's my little simple button. And now I need to convert this guy to a component. So I just simply highlight all these layers, drag across them and hit command K on my keyboard to convert to a component. And I know it's a component because I got this green border. Green borders are components in XD. And I have a little solid shape for the diamond at the upper left. That tells me I'm currently working with the master component. So now that I have a master component, I can create button states. So the first thing I'm going to do is just simulate maybe a menu where I have several different buttons. So let's just go ahead and grab this one. I'm gonna leave my, uh, well, I'll just hold down option for now. So I'm gonna hold down option and shift at the same time and drag over three or four copies of these buttons. So I'll just place them all like so, and that looks pretty good. And we'll just kind of drag these guys around till we even up the space in between them like so. Good enough. Now I'm going to select my master component and delete it off of my stage because I only want to be working with instances. So now that I have all my instances, I'll just place them all like so. Now in this tutorial, you do have to automatically or you do have to manually resize all of your text for your various buttons. So when I come into all these instances, let's say this one's called about whoops, let me capitalize all this so they kind of look the same. This one's called about. I either have to one, resize the component outer shell. So I have to come in here, right? And kind of resize that guy down in this way, or I have to center the text. So it's kind of up to you on how you want to do that. To keep things simple, I'm just going to uh, center the text in all these buttons. Okay, so I'll place that one over there. We'll call this one store. And I'll place this one over here and I'll call this one hello. Now I'm purposely using words that are not longer than my button because I chose for the centering method. So I'm cheating a little bit here. Okay, so there's my four buttons. Now I need to add my component states. So the state of a button is what it looks like, whether it's hovered on, whether it's clicked on, or something like that. So this is gonna be the default state. So all the buttons are essentially purple in their default state. When the user hovers the mouse over the top of my button, I want to illustrate that in my design as well. So I need to turn on the hover state. Now, in order to do that, we need to open back up the master component. But I deleted the master component off of my canvas here. So in order to get the master component back, I can right click any of the instances on the stage and say edit main component. Once I select that option, you'll see it pops over here to the right in the off stage area. And I know it's the master because this is solid green. Notice all the children over here are not solid green. They have a little dot in the middle. Okay, so this is the master component. Let's go ahead and add it. I want to add the states on the master, not on the instances. So with the master component selected, we're gonna come over here to our component area of our properties panel. Notice I already have a default state. So I'm gonna click the plus button to add a new state. So click plus, we're going to add for our new state the one that's built in that's called hover. This hover state is also automatically prototyped inside of XD. So I'm just gonna hit return, I'll leave that the default name. And now that I have my hover state active, make sure that you have the hover state selected, I can modify the design here. So I'm just gonna simply come in and maybe change the background fill. I'll just reverse these colors. I'll do this one black uh, for the background, and then I will set 
the text color to, or maybe I'll just change the fill or the border. Sure. I'll set the border to purple. I'm actually not going to pick the same purple. I'll just do something like that. Okay. So now I have this as my hover state. So now I need to add my second or my third state, which is in our case, the selected or down state. So I'm just going to call this one down. This could be like the active state of a button. So typically buttons should have at least two states, a normal and a selected or pushed. But oftentimes on websites in specific, you can have three states. You can have the normal state, what it looks like when the mouse is hovering over the button, and what it looks like when the user presses and clicks and hold on the mouse button. That's called the down state. So this will be my down state. So now we have hover or default, hover and down I need to now edit. So I'll have the down state selected. Let's just come in here and modify this one more time. So I'll come in here to the fill. Maybe we'll make this one red and we'll make the border white. Okay, it doesn't really matter for this example, just something different. So now let's test it out. So there's my default, my hover and my down. Perfect. So now that I've edited the master component, all of my children over here, all of these instances should have those states available to them. So when I click on the button, notice that I have the hover state as an option. And I can click on the about button and I can set this one to the down state. Cool. Now you notice the issue is that when I switch to the various states, the text also switched to whatever the master component was. So what I would have to do if I wanted to illustrate what this looked like in my design for my default state, I'll just set this one to default. I'll set this one to my hover and it's the about button. So once I click on hover, I would need to come in and then override this text back to about. And then on this one, this one's going to be my down state. So then I would need to come into this one and override the text back to what was this one? Store, I think it was. And then recenter those up like so. Okay. And that's how you can create your states. Now you can always preview the hover state. So if I click the play button up here at the upper right hand side to preview this, I can see my menu system and I can actually hover over this to see the hover state happening live on that first button there. So pretty cool. And that is how you can add in your button states in Adobe XD into your design. So again, if you want to check out the other video where I show you how to do the automatic resizing, look for the auto responsing. I'll try to link it down in the description so you can find it easily for the auto resizing of your button components or buttons as well.